What's up guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a little build vlog uh, update. So this is going to be part 3 of the build vlog series. And it's been a while since I've done a uh, build update of the truck here. Kind of a lot's happened but not too many major things so I'll go over all that uh, pretty quick here. Um, before we get started I just want to give a little shout out to my new Instagram page I started. It's 805 underscore customs and if you're interested in seeing what I kind of do every weekend or so um, and the most recent updates of the truck I'll be posting it all there on the story or just on the page itself I do quite a bit of little projects in my garage here and just kind of little fabricating things and welding stuff and yeah that's kind of what I'm interested in so if you're interested in checking that out go ahead and check out that Instagram page and we'll get started here so first thing is um, in the last video, I said I got 285 uh, size tires, and I actually went down to the 265s due to the fact that I had too many rubbing issues. Um, I had a lot of, I kept cutting out plastic out here, and I got sick of it, and uh, it just kept rubbing, and started rubbing on the back here a little bit and when I made sharp turns. So I didn't really like that, so I went down in size just because of if I ever wanted to do any uh, minor off-roading or anything like that. I um, won't have any problems with rubbing. And it was just annoying. It's embarrassing when you're like pulling out of a parking lot and your plastic starts rubbing and stuff. So I just kind of got rid of that here. And it, I do have a two and a half inch leveling kit on it and it's still rubbed. So the 265 still look good on the truck. I mean, I don't mind it too much, but uh, the 285s were pretty cool. But the 285s also brought my gas mileage down to about 12 miles per gallon average. And these 265s, I'm at 15 average right now. So I get 17 highway and 15 average. So we'll keep going here. The next thing is my Plasti Dip update. So it, they're a little dirty right now. It's been raining a lot in here in California ever since New Year's. But um, they trust me, they look really good when the truck's all clean. And I have not touched these up since I did it. And it was over a year ago. So... I'm actually really stoked on how well all this turned out here and how well it's been holding up. It's pretty, it really has impressed me. I put, I think, four or five coats on this, so a good amount, but definitely worth it if you're interested in getting rid of the chrome on your truck and want to do it on budget. It's super cheap and doesn't take that long. It turns out really well. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, just saying it looks good and stuff. And yeah, so we'll keep moving on here. Next thing would be my entry lighting. It's gonna be kind of hard to see right now just because it's daylight out, but I'll show you the LEDs here. So whenever I open the door, I have this underglow, people call it. I call it entry lighting because I don't really use this underglow. You see the strip here. I made this whole uh, um, bar or strip out of aluminum so I could remove it in easily. So it's just held on by factory holes that are behind these little caps here. I forget the thread size, I think it's an M8 bolt. But um, you just uh, pull off these caps and then thread, get the bolts thread on there. And then you have these strips that are easily removable and doesn't affect the truck at all. So that's how that's all set up underneath there. And then the footwell LED is I put one on the driver's side and passenger side of uh, the truck here. Um, so those also come on with the door whenever the dome light comes on those come on But you could also turn on the dome light without these coming on so that's kind of nice This switch here is for the underglow so if I ever did want to leave it on I've never really used it yet before but I mean if I go to like a truck meetup or something like that I can turn them on just something kind of it's there if I ever need it, but I don't really use it um, The next thing well all right here my bumper light bar. So this is an aux beam 32 inch light bar. I have this little switch here. It says bumper light bar. I thought it was kind of cool. It's all right. I mean the switch is a little poor quality, but it's cool. It gets the job done. You can see it turn on there. So the cool thing with this light bar, it's an RGB light bar, so it does colors as well. The colors aren't as bright as uh, the white, but it's still pretty cool just to play around with and show off a little bit so that's pretty cool it was a reasonable price it wasn't too much and the white is super bright i'm going to wire up the light bar to with my high beams when i turn my high beams the light bar comes on as well so when i'm driving on the back roads 
I have the light bar on. Excuse the mess in here. Um, the next thing I installed was this voltmeter that comes on with the key comes on and then um, this uh, USB port. So this USB port is pretty cool. I uh, usually leave my headphones plugged in for the gym and every time I go to the gym they're charged so that's kind of cool and then I have my phone charger in here this USB ports always on so that was one thing I really wanted in this truck because none of these uh, 12 volt ports uh, actually gave power while the truck was off so that could, that was really annoying and I wanted power when the truck's off and I'm not in it so now that that's there that's pretty nice um, the tw cigarette lighter here that used to be here, I took its power and that's what feeds this voltmeter. So that's why when my key turns on, the voltmeter turns on. And then this port is actually a uh, extension from my head unit here. I used to have the USB port going into my glove box, but I just got an extension cable and then mounted it up right here. So that's kind of nice to have. I mean, if you wanted to just have this as power, that would be a pretty cool spot to put it to. If you want to just have, like, your phone charging or something. Uh, and then you still got one cigarette light, uh, cigarette port right there. Um, next thing in here, I don't really think this is that big of a deal, but just the bright white lights. It's good for finding things at night. Um, this one, it's the stock bulb because I used to have a red LED in there. I had actually, I made my own custom bulb and I had a bunch of these LEDs throughout here so it was super bright. I mean I could see everything in the truck when it was lit up. But it was a little bit too much red so I kind of just pulled that out recently and put the original back in because it took away from the footwell uh, lighting and I put those in to have it look good and when this took away from that I didn't really like that. I like when those stick out. So I'm going to order up one of those bright white bulbs pretty soon here. Um, my visor broke, so when I go to sell the truck, I'll probably have to buy a new one. I just pulled it off because all it was all dangling down, and it's kind of fine. Not, it doesn't really bother me that it's not there, but I have this window tent, so I never used it really. And the window tent, I mean, I it came with the truck, but it it really took a little bit to get used to having this narrow bit uh, field of view. But uh, when the sun's setting and you have your sunglasses on. This helps so much, um, by far it really helps. Um, but I'll get a new visor one day. Um, we'll go through here, let's see what else we got. For the stereo system, I have these two 12 inch subwoofers, Rockford Fosgate, um, back here. They're really good and a lot of people like them. I've had a lot of people listen to it and they say they really like these subwoofers. Um, if I had to do it again, and I had the money, I might have saved up a little bit more and uh, just went with some sundown uh, shallow mount subwoofers because I put some of those in in a buddy's truck and man, they sound really good. A lot louder than these little guys or these Rockford Files Gates. They're really good though, don't get me wrong. And for the price, they're not too bad. Um, Rockford Files Gates is an awesome company. I, I'll stand by them all day, every day. Um, but uh, I, I've never had a sundown in. I kind of want to try that one day. I may sell these and try getting those, but we'll see. So far, these are good enough to do the job. Give, gives me a little bit of base. And then we got the amp down here underneath in the storage compartment. No problems with it overheating yet, but um, it's a pretty good amp. It's an NVX 1000 watt amp or 1200 watts, but I run it at 800, I think. So there's 1000 watt subwoofers, but I run them at 800, I believe. Um, see here she's in the back of the truck some trainer to stay in the bed of the truck because she likes to jump out and run away when I'm at places so she needs to learn how to stay in there um, next up would be my auxiliary reverse lights these are aux beam again since I got the front um, aux beam light bar I decided to just get these little pods back here and I stealth mounted them so when you're standing away from the vehicle you don't see these big old pods sticking down I put these custom brackets on there. Um, I welded these custom brackets on, so they're kind of hidden. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Wired them into my trailer hitch uh, plug here, so when I go in reverse, they kick on and light up everything behind me. It's awesome for the tinted windows in the front because you can't see anything at night. 
if you don't want to roll down the window um, it really helps um, next up would be let's see here the new exhaust so I got a Flowmaster series 44 I believe it is um, I'll have the links all down in the description for everything but uh, yeah this muffler it's it's one crazy difference than the stock muffler it was much needed um, let me grab this ball real quick hey knock it off um, I installed it myself got some more pipe here and uh, actually I gotta take this bracket off I fucked that one up I'm just gonna pull that bracket off there um, yeah I welded it all in myself I am not in a welder at all I mean I'm just learning how I just got the welder about a month ago so don't really know what I'm doing but it works and it's in and it sounds good so pretty stoked on that and then I think that's about it for the truck here so this this is an update of the truck the only downfall with the truck I'm not liking right now is the clear coats peeling I mean I take care of the truck pretty well I clean it on a regular basis it's kind of dirty right now as you see because of the all the rain and stuff and I work in a dirt lot but uh the clear coats really taking a hit I'm not liking that I don't like my stuff being trashed or anything so that's kind of bothering me we'll see what I'll do about that in the future but um, yeah so that's the only thing I don't like about the truck I mean it's a, been a great truck so far overall and no problems with it at all easy maintenance um, cheap too. do it all myself and yeah that's pretty much it. I'll show you the front light bar here real quick, just so you can check that out. So it's right behind the front grill. I don't uh, use a front license plate, and I haven't since I've owned the truck. Have had no problems. Don't really know the laws on that actually, to be honest. But haven't had any problems, and yeah, it's been working out pretty well. So if you guys have any questions about anything, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you have any uh, suggestions on what I should do with the truck. Uh, I'll be more than interested in taking a look at it and um, possibly doing it to the truck but I don't really uh, do everything everyone says just because some stuff doesn't work out for me or for the truck so I kind of do what I want and yeah so thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them down below and subscribe for more I'll be trying to make more different videos on trucks um, on my brother's truck here I just put in all these little light pods all around it that are RGB, these little rock lights. I put them all around the truck and so I'm making a video on that. I got to edit it and upload it for you guys. But yeah, so thanks for watching.